I'm Matt. And I'm Amy. And we are the Traveling Together Journal. This is Jagger the dog. Everybody's favorite. And the three of us spent about 20 months traveling through Mexico and Central America, down to Panama, and then back up to California. Wow. And it's really funny because we, I think, are in contact maybe a year or eight months or something like that. We always try to meet, meet, but we never manage to do it because we always cross paths and it was really crazy. We were leaving Baja the day you guys arrived in Baja. You were in San oh. Felipe and we were like oh. going home. Why you guys decided for travel in this car specific? Uh, well, because we were making the trip just through Mexico and Latin America. So I wanted a truck where I could find parts. So the T100 is what we're driving. Yeah. Um, and it's a little bit of an unusual vehicle, but all of the components are common in other Toyota trucks. So <laughs> like the engine, and transmission and stuff was all offered in the Tacoma, the 4Runner, the 100 series Land Cruiser. So those parts are all out there. Mm -hmm. And then the whole suspension is the same as the Toyota Hilux. Oh, nice, yeah. So we can With find us, parts. It's totally opposite. We don't have any service. We don't find any pieces. <laughs> no one wants to touch our <laughs> no truck. No one wants yeah. to touch our car. That's nice. But you did the... Yeah, this so then we made home, the camper. Ah. Um, and the reason I decided to do that is I have experience traveling through Baja and we've tried all kinds of different campers and tents and stuff and anytime we've ever tried to use like a commercial RV or camper or something they just fall apart mm -hmm. because you're just driving hundreds yeah. of miles on Need to be really roads and stuff. Yeah. Need to be yeah. really off-road made. Yeah. yeah, so I wanted something simple like minimal number of moving parts and stuff. Okay. But I wanted everything to be inside as well yeah. because we have like surfboards and a kayak and all our you want toys to have on basically. Top. And I didn't want to have it all on top. Ah, okay. So nice. I made it come over the cab. So we have up to eight foot surfboards fit inside of there. Oh, this wow. is not your sleeping? No. No. Oh, I thought you sleep up there. Yeah. No, no it's just for storage. storage. Um, so yeah, we have all our surfboards are strapped up to the ceiling. How did you do that? So it's a camper shell. You can kind of see the resemblance of just a standard camper shell. Yeah. Then we cut the camper shell and then it's five millimeter plywood and it's fiberglass on the inside and the outside. Wow, nice. A lot of work. Yeah. It was. We did it in seven weeks. Oh, okay. Wow, not so bad. Yeah, because you got to wait for drying, you know. Well, well the whole next truck preparation took seven weeks. The whole so thing. Oh, okay. I included all the maintenance we did before we left, and I, I used to have a bench seat and stuff inside the cab. So this used to be a bench seat. Oh, okay. And I see. we took his seat is um, just a seat from a Toyota, okay. and this is part of the original bench. And we took it out so that we could um, build a box. a box for storage. Nice. So this is most of our camera gear, and it does lock. Nice. And then Jagger's dog bed Perfect. is more storage. Nice. And over there is our house batteries that run our refrigerator and the charge controller. Cool. But why you guys decided to change your lifestyle and have this lifestyle? Has a reason for that? We've always been travelers, um, and so we were trying to figure out what we wanted to do together now that we were making a life together. And we had the dog, and he was getting old, and so we looked at a lot of different places and options, and we ended up saying, let's do a driving trip. And the easiest driving trip is to just go south. Road trip, yeah. Yeah, and Matt's a really good surfer. He's really into it, so there's so much surf between uh -huh. Baja and Panama, so it was only yeah. natural. It's kind of just... This we have to... Five years. This is just what we got to do. <laughs> and then, you know, the Pan Americans are very popular, but we just wanted to take our time. We wanted to arrive in a place, and if we really loved it, stay as long as we wanted. So we gave ourselves two years. So we saved for three and a half years, and said we've got two years, $50 a day, and 
We'll take our time. Nice. Okay. nice. That's big. How much is it? It's 300 watts. Okay. And the reason that we got one so big is because we were living out of the truck. Yeah. And we were traveling through like Central America and stuff during the rainy season because yeah. that's also the surf season. Yeah. So a lot of times we'd have like two hours of sun a day. True. Like by the time the sun came all the way up and like the fog burned off. And then by like two in the afternoon, it would start raining. Charge. Yeah. So like we'd have that little you need power. window yeah. to try nice. to get it up quick. So we didn't have sleeping bags until this trip, <laughs> but this is our bed here. Okay, let me ask, what do you think is more comfortable? We have a big, big blanket. Yeah. What do you think? I prefer blankets and actually the whole weekend that we've been using our sleeping bags, I haven't actually been in the sleeping yeah. bag. I've been using it as a blanket. As a blanket, yeah. <laughs> you know. And so we're planning on doing some trip like up to Alaska. Uh -huh. Then and eight. maybe over to Russia, and so we're like, let's just get some sleeping bags. Yeah, <laughs> just in case. You don't have a heating okay. system in there. No, no heating system and no insulation. No in insulation. This. Okay. So it's set up a little bit different because we just came to Expo, but um, up there we have our clothes boxes, and we would put like yoga mats and just extra blankets and pillows would all go up top there underneath the surfboards. And you have your surfboards inside. We do nice. because we still use this truck to go surfing. And this is our fan. Nice. It's an amazing fan. It's probably one of my favorite things in the whole to vehicle. To get cool cooling in there, right? And then we have a 12 volt Snowmaster fridge and it's super awesome because you know a lot of times when you're camping in Central America and Mexico you're going to be able to plug into electricity yeah so yeah. when we are running low on power because it's been cloudy and you're somewhere so we can plug this into um, 120 yeah. 110 yeah. Yeah. yeah yeah nice and that's nice. a fridge and freezer that's important oh this is nice yeah cool well, right now it's 100 percent fridge so you can do whatever you want yeah it's uh -huh. awesome yeah, whatever you need the system is really cool yeah to kick in and out yeah, and that way it comes out. Yeah. And, and you can work from outside. Our kitchen is right here. Yeah. Kitchen and is here. That you always find hey, and you made some outside plugs. Yep. Yeah. Like it, like it, like it a lot. Yeah. That's and the necessary. Like, for the people light. out there, sorry, for the people out there that don't know about camping a lot. Yeah. Those things you will need. Yes. <laughs> we um, let's see, we use it to um, power the air compressor, and then actually it was so hot sometimes we would put the fan here and just oh, like nice. sit outside in the shade with the fan. <laughs> nice. Cool. I love dogs. Boy. How old is he? He's 15. This, but with him. It's nice to know about other people. Did you have any problems at the borders? We didn't have any problems, not any big problems at the borders. Uh, we didn't file for our import permit for Belize okay. ahead of time. So we had to pay a fine at the border. Yeah. And then uh, Panama was $130. And I have heard that you can sneak them in, but when we pulled up, there was like five guys, dog, dog, dog. Oh. <laughs> there was no sneaking them oh, in. Okay. Like, they Same need with to close inside the dogs for Panama. Yeah, <laughs> you need to pay somebody, I think. Like, okay. I think yeah. you should hire a, a medic Metador, you know, oh, really? uh, Metador. Uh -huh. only at that border because if you pay him, uh -huh. he will pay the guy inspecting your car so oh that <laughs> they don't see your dogs. Marty, Especially for you, yeah. it would be two hundred and sixty dollars <laughs> U.S. dollars. Oh, wow. okay. Yeah, good to yeah. know. Uh, like, I think the two big tips for traveling, especially with an old dog, are the best quality food that we could find mm. regularly was at Costco's in or Mexico and then once you get south of Mexico it's the same store but they call it Price Mart yeah um, so you do have to get a membership for them but it makes up it's for it compared it. if you want to give your dog something besides the grocery store or corn oh, food. So and then the nice. other one especially if you have an old dog or whatever you need medications is you can often buy like human drugs without a prescription yeah. Oh, okay. Throughout Latin America. But Mexico is amazing, so stock up because if you go to Walmart, you buy three boxes and you get the fourth one for free. Oh, wow. okay. <laughs> On prescription drugs. And, <laughs> and it's really cheap. Nice. The other tip I have is um, get a really good dry bag for your dog food instead of a box. Yeah. So that as they eat it, you get more space in your vehicle for nice. just, yes. I don't know, trash yeah, or whatever yeah, yeah, you need. True. So nice. that was. Nice. That's my traveling with a dog tip. 
cool. Thank you guys. Yeah. YouTube channel. We do. Yes, we're the traveling together journal. Travel together journal. Sorry, I will write that somewhere. That's right. <laughs> and uh, that should work too, right? Yeah. The idea so. is that in two years this work that you can finance the lifestyle. That would be fantastic. So right now we just got back. Uh, the show is still running. We're editing all that, that those videos, the content. And yeah, the goal would be that by the time we finish producing that, we're gonna do a new camper build because we'd like to have our kitchen inside. Something we learned inside living space is important right. when you're full timing it. Um, and then in two years, when we finish our camper, yes, we hope that we have enough followers and supporters and. It's going well so far. So follow them, please. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. They are you. nice people and they do amazing videos. Oh, yeah. <laughs> thank nice. you. Nice. <laughs> it was amazing. They show if you guys have some questions, please go to their YouTube channel and check this, this out. And thanks a lot. Yeah, it was really nice to meet you thank in person. You. Finally. Yeah, and this Overland Expo was pretty cool. <laughs> See you later. Hi, I'm Caroline and I'm Phil and we are from Germany and we cruising through the Americas in, in 1992. Yeah. Land, Land Rover Defender. <laughs>